We're now very basically going to look at searching records using the like clause. Um, and we're going to do this with name and description. Now, bear in mind, these aren't full text searches, so these are going to be extremely slow. If you want to do fast searching, you should probably use an indexer, something like Sphinx for PHP, uh, for, well, various languages. Um, but basically, we're going to use the like um, clause just to pick out uh, a record that matches something. And bear in mind that with lots of records, this is incredibly slow. But uh, it's good to know that it's there, and especially with full text searches, um, if you go ahead and look that up, uh, it's beyond the scope of this tutorial. But, uh, you know, that's something that you uh, could bear in mind. Anyway, let's take a look at the syntax. So I'm going to select uh, everything. So select start from articles. Um, and in this case, we're going to say where. So we're still using the uh, where clause. And we're going to say where a um, specific field is like something. So I'm going to say where name, like. And then I'm going to give a, just say like a string value. So let's say, for example, we say MySQL. Now, this is actually going to return nothing because nothing is like MySQL in terms of that string. If I was to say where is like working with MySQL, that returns this record. Now that might seem pretty pointless because what we could have done is we could have said where name equals working with MySQL. And the difference with, with the like clause that we have here is that what we can actually do is we can provide um, percentage signs to actually do searches. So for example, I'm going to say uh, MySQL and I'm going to put a percentage sign in the front of this. Now, what this means is um, where where the name column or any data in the name column ends in MySQL. And we know that working with MySQL ends in MySQL. So this is basically um, saying, you know, anything in front of this doesn't matter. It must end in MySQL. We can do exactly the same thing. And we can say it must start with MySQL. In this case, we've got an empty set. But if we were to say working with, we know that we have a record called working with MySQL. And we can do exactly the same thing uh, with our other record. Let's just select uh, all. And let's go back to this. So we can say where it starts with introduction. And we get introduction to PHP. Now, what if we want to actually search for, say, one keyword or a, or a small keyword or a small little search term? Well, we can use two percentage signs to say, well, anything can be on the left and anything can be on the right. So in this case, I'm going to say PHP. We know that PHP is there. Um, if I was to be even general and say A, the letter A, um, we get an empty set here. But... Um, you know, let's take a look at maybe select everything and let's say where description like and then if we find a common word in here, so with, with is in both of these. So if I type with, that will return both records because with is contained within uh, both of the descriptions and the stuff on the left of that with a word and the stuff on the right of that with word. So we can use the like uh, search, if you like, to search um, specifically within our or any of our columns and uh, we can obtain results like that. So it's almost like a little mini search.